Hi, I'm Prefix, and this is my partner, Suffix. Together, we make the Afix Squad. It's our job to help people build a family of words from a single base. Suffix, quick! Someone, somewhere, needs us! Afix Squad to the rescue! Pardon me, can we help you? I certainly hope so. The base I'm wondering about is the base L-I-K-E. Can you help me build a family of words using L-I-K-E as a base? Sure, that should be easy enough, seeing it's a free base and all. Wait, what's that you say? L-I-K-E is a free base? You mean some bases cost money? No, 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 no. The fact that you can use L-I-K-E on its own makes it a free base. Some bases can't even be in a word without a prefix or a suffix. They're called bound bases. Take the word predict. The base is T-I-C-T and has a sense of speak or say. The prefix is P-R-E, which has a sense of before. If you predict the ending of a story, you say what you think will happen before you've actually read it. The base T-I-C-T is a bound base because we never see it in a sentence on our own. Yeah, it always has a prefix or a suffix attached to it. You mean like in dictionary, the book that tells you what words mean? In dictate, when someone tells you what to write down, Right you are, and even in contradict, which is to speak against something, and in valedictorian, which is a worthy graduate who speaks at graduation. Okay, I get it. The ICT is a bound base because it needs to either be bound to a suffix or a prefix, and L-I-K-E is a free base because it's a word on its own. Right you are again! So what can we do with L-I-K-E? We could add the suffix I-N-G, S, or even E-D. Let's start with I-N-G. Let's see what happened when we added the ing suffix. Wait a minute. What just happened there? When we added the ing suffix, the e was replaced. Why is that? You see, when adding a vowel suffix, a vowel suffix is simply a suffix that, that begins with the vowel. You know your vowels, a, e, i, o, u, and sometimes y. Like I was saying, when adding a vowel suffix to a word that ends in a final non-syllabic e, Final means it's the last letter on the, on the word. Non-syllabic means it's not pronounced. When we say the word like, the E is not pronounced. It's non-syllabic. Like I was saying, when adding a vowel suffix to a word that ends in a final non-syllabic E, the E is replaced. It is spelled L-I-K, replace the E, I-N-G. What'll happen if we add the E-D suffix too? Well, let's see. Oh, I see now. It would be spelled L-I-K, place the E, E-D. That's right. But you wouldn't replace the final non-syllabic E when you're adding the S suffix. It would be spelled L-I-K-E-S. The suffix begins with the consonant, so the final non-syllabic E stays. I'm liking what I'm hearing. Thanks. Thanks! You two have been a lot of help today. Oh, but wait, there's more. I was hoping you'd say that. If we add the suffix ly, we'll have the word likely. And of course, it will be spelled L-I-K-E-L-Y. That's right. The suffix begins with a consonant, so the final non-syllabic E stays. You could also add the suffix N-E-double-S. And then I could show you this likeness of me. Okay, don't tell me. It would be spelled L-I-K-E-N-E-double-S. The suffix begins with a consonant, so the final non-syllabic E stays. I have to say, you're extremely likable. Likable. L-I-K, replace the E, A-B-L-E. The suffix begins with a vowel. So the final non-syllabic E is replaced. Thanks, I've learned a lot today. But wait, there's more. I happen to have some prefixes right here. Prefixes? Where do they go? Prefixes can be added to the front of a base or stem. Take the word likely. If we add the prefix UN, we'll have the word unlikely. It is unlikely that we will be abducted by aliens today. In this word, the Prefix UN brings the sense of not to the word likely. Unlikely means not likely. 
If we add the prefix D-I-S, that would make the word dislike, as in I dislike hot peppers on my strawberry ice cream. <coughs> the prefix D-I-S brings the sense of away. If you dislike something, you're away from liking it. Or on the other hand, you don't like it. So, before we leave, can you recap what you've learned? A suffix is added to the end of a base or stem. And when it's added, you have to check to see if it begins with a vowel. And if it does, check to see if the base or stem has a final mass syllabic E that will be replaced by the suffix. A prefix is added to the beginning of a base or stem. Every base is a distinct meaning. Prefixes and suffixes just add information to the base or stem. Right, and the combination we get when adding different prefixes and suffixes gives us a list of words related to that base. You have learned well this day. As a way to remember all that you have learned, we are leaving you with this matrix and this list of word sums. <coughs>